So I'm Malcolm Wildenberg and I went and decided that I was going to figure out which friction additives, is what I'm calling them, that I add to bike wheels make it most effective on snow. And so the bike that I used was my dad's Rincon Giant, which is a road bike. It has smooth rubber wheels. Um, and so in snow, with the most effective gear combination, it has no traction whatsoever. It does not work at all in snow, which means that it's, it's a pretty good, I feel like it's a pretty good baseline because we know that it just does not work. And so um, what I did is I had the bike, obviously, along with the chain, this rope, a smaller hempen rope, a uh, clothesline, and zip ties were my different things that I tested. And so what I found is that um, you cannot use the big rope because um, it interferes with the brake system even if you have it disconnected. Um, and so the wheel will not turn with the big rope. So I wasn't able to put it into my graphs. Furthermore, all of the um, friction additives that I put onto the bike, um, while they very definitely improved the traction significantly, um, none of them actually were functional over any reasonable period of time. The chains, the chains slipped. The clothesline actually started to tear itself apart. Um, the hempen rope was, was actually pretty stable, but I have a feeling that since it's biodegradable, it wouldn't last very well. And um, it's also not water resistant, resistant, which I have a feeling would have had a noticeable effect if I had actually tried to ride it around. And then the zip ties, I still have them on my bike at home, and half of them came off during the test. So that wasn't very effective either. As a whole, um, my hypothesis was that the chains would be the best because it's metal and I felt that that would be more effective than having clothesline or rope or something. But what really happened is that the clothesline proved to me the most effective. I'm not entirely sure why. And instead of, um, and it's a noticeable difference too. So if you're going to take a look here, um, the chains are, have, were um, started to spin out um, on Stump Jumper and the second and third gears, whereas the chains, I had to go to the first and second gears. Otherwise, they just wouldn't spin out. And so they were providing me with much more traction than I would have received otherwise. And so as a, my conclusion, I have found that while all of the friction additives that I found worked, um, my hypothesis was wrong. The clothesline works best. And as a whole, it's better to either get a bike chains that are designed purpose built, get a mountain bike, or to get um, fatter tires with bumps on them. Thank you.